Yo, 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 what's going on? It's the NRW, where nerds rule the world. It's your boy, Cool Ya P, aka Patrick Michael Strange, and I'm here with my homies. First up, the guy that levels us up from Level Up Comedy. What's up, Glenn Lawrence? What is cracking, my fellow nerds? Let's get into this protege, man. All right, all right. Next up, the guy who's always cool. He's your so cool with Rob Medina. What's up, Rob? All is good, man. I don't know if I'm that cool just yet. I'm trying to be <laughs> working my way up through there, but little by little, I think I'm getting successful. But thank you. You are, much. you are, you are. We, you got, you got the stamp of approval from your boys over here, man. We got you, we got you. <laughs> All right, today uh, we are about to uh, give you a our review for the amazing new film starring Maggie Q. It's called The Protege. It features my man Samuel L. Motherfucking Jackson as well as Michael Keaton, Robert Patrick, a bunch of great stars. But before we get into our review, we're going to show you the trailer. So here we go right now, the protege. Most people are good. Some people are bad. But you, you're the rare gift. So get in and get out. You would always think on your feet anyway. Not so much tonight. We sent away so many prematurely. Either by my hand or through you. We never sent anyone away who didn't have it coming. We all have to pay for our sins eventually. Meet you downstairs in the bar and her your rolled up sleeves in your skull t-shirt. You say why she's she not gonna run. She's gonna lick her wounds and she's coming after us. Someone killed a friend of mine because of a contract he completed years ago. Oh, yeah? Who could be answers? Probably the last thing you ever say. I you I have trouble. Why don't you just consider it a mystery best left unsolved? You know that I'm no good. You keep this up, you're gonna die. I just wanted to end their life. And anyone standing in my way. You're intrigued by her. Curious. Give us bad manners. No. I'd really like to see you again under different circumstances. These are the best circumstances you'll ever see me in. Boom! There you go. The trailer for The Protégé. Uh, kind of give you a little bit of background there with the story, but I'm going to toss it over. Who wants to take this? Who wants to kind of give a little breakdown uh, on the story uh, before we uh, dive into the characters as well as our review? Who wants to take it first? Well, I'll I'll go ahead and uh, break it down a little bit. So the protege, it is a movie about a young lady who is saved um, or actually kind of saves herself. Spoiler alert, uh, <laughs> um, who, who is saved from um, certain death by a person who then trains her to become one of the most uh efficient and uh beautiful as well as brutal assassins in the world uh because because of this she makes some enemies some of those enemies come back after her uh and we're we're in for a wild uh, wacky ride she really has to um use all of her talent skills and abilities when her uh what, what, what's what's the opposite of the protege the the Mentor? mentor, the mentor. Yeah. When the mentor, uh, her mentor is killed, she has to uh, she has to track down the people who did it. And of course, you know that always means 
good fun. So that's the basic crux of the movie, um, just in a, in a nutshell real quick. But there's there's so much uh, juiciness that is in this. Um, and, and, and we get to see Michael Keaton back again. So so that's yeah. uh, so that's cool. But that's uh, the gist of the movie. Basically, mentors kill protege got to come back in and get some revenge for that killing. But there's some twists along the way. All right, let's talk about the characters. Rob, why don't you take this? Let's break down like uh, Robert Patrick, Samuel Jackson, uh, Maggie Q. So, uh, so Michael Keaton. Yeah, yeah, so Maggie Q of- plays the character of Anna Dutton, who is uh, more or less adopted by uh, Samuel L. Jackson, who goes by the character name of Moody uh, Dutton. So he uh, trains her, and then we we first get introduced to her uh, her ability to adapt into a situation and then getting um, getting close to their target and doing a pretty convincing way. And then uh, and that's what we come to see that how ruthless she can be and how proficient she is as well, too. Uh, and she definitely has a lot of uh, baggage that she's carried that she uh, where we learn a little bit about her past along the way as the story progresses, uh, especially after the death of Moody, uh, played by Samuel L. Jackson, who I think. Uh, you know, I liked Sam in the movie. He was actually pretty good for what he was given in the role. Uh, but, you know, really for me to stand out uh, person in the movie was uh, Maggie Q. She was the 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 heart of the film, in my opinion. Michael Keaton's character. Uh, let me look up real quickly. His name is Rembrandt. Uh, that guy I actually did like a lot. I liked his character a lot in the movie, too. It's the first time in a long time that I can recall seeing Michael Keaton in an action role uh, where he actually did do some hand-to-hand combat, although you can kind of see when he wasn't in there. But when he was doing his business, I thought he did pretty well for the most part. Um, And I like the fact that there is a bit of a chemistry between the two assassins, if you will, uh, because I think that's what he kind of is as well. So he's more like the cleaner, I think, is really the the respective term for him. Uh, And then we also get introduced to Robert Patrick's character, who I think serves really just as a purpose of someone who can bring in um, bring in a... um, Maggie Q's character in places that she can't get on her own, and he gives her access to that. So he serves for the purposes of uh, keeping things moving along. But he was fine for what he what he was doing. Um, but yeah, for me, the standout is Maggie Q. I think she really was the, the heart of the film, and she I can see why. Um, you know, I've never seen the show Nikita, but I heard she was great. My wife saw it. She's like, "Oh, oh so she's from Nikita," and Love I was like, show. "I've never seen that show." She's like, "That's a show you should watch." And I was like, "All right." So after watching this movie, I think I might take the time to check it out. So oh, the key is great. I watched. Yeah. Uh, I think it had seven seasons, or, or no, I'm sorry, it had uh, four seasons. Um, mm-hmm. But it was a pretty solid show up until that fourth season. Really mm-hmm. liked it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, just a little bit of pushback. I thought that Michael Keaton was pretty dope during the the show i definitely love maggie q she she's always amazing i i enjoyed uh samuel L. jackson but th- i actually took notice of like damn michael keaton is back and he's kind of he still it, got right? it right yeah, he still, still got, got it. it like this is I, I can rock with this um so michael keaton was kind of the the standout for for me there um you know that that's i enjoyed that yo so Staying on characters, man, uh, to me, there's the four significant actors we just discussed. Samuel Jackson, Robert Patrick, Michael Keaton, Maggie Q. Brilliant. Um, especially kind of Michael Keaton and Robert Patrick kind of being uh, the same as well as Samuel. They've been in the game for a while. Um, they played their parts, I thought, well cast. And uh, and then to Glenn's point, man, Keaton back at it again, man. He's kind of played older characters in more recent roles that I've seen. But... His scene in the in the library, oh, well, not the library, but the bookstore when Maggie Q's character finally meets uh, his Rembrandt character, mm-hmm. it was kind of like a you know a, a little pimping right there, a little like a little flirtation <laughs> going on, and uh, that was real smooth. I was like, let me find out. Michael still got it like that. That was like real pimping. He had some game. <laughs> he had game. He had game, yeah. bro. I liked how smooth that thing with the, the exchange with the business card and everything. Yeah. That whole dialogue, wonderfully written. Shout out to the, the script writers on that. And then well acted by Michael and Maggie. Uh, and then later on, uh, when we have their interaction uh, with Rembrandt and Anna in a, in a, an amazing fight scene. You're either going to fight me or fuck me. Let me just say that yeah. uh, without spoiling too much. <laughs> brilliant line right there. I Absolutely brilliant. I love that line right there. <laughs> Uh, just just the movie. good back and forth with them. Yeah, uh, I agree. I agree, man. I mean, Michael Keaton, ever since uh, he came back in what uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, I was like, OK, Mike, Michael Keaton is. Oh, he still like got it, man. Guy. You ever see so Birdman, good. bro? That's no, a great I, movie. I, yeah, Birdman's brilliant. That's a really good movie. Mm. Really yeah. well done. You need to check that out. So, yeah, he's mm. been killing it for a while, man. And so 
yeah, for him, he, you know, he's kind of faded back because he's an older actor, as well as Robert Patrick. Shout out to Robert Patrick, man. Um, just smaller role, but uh, you know, fit everything he needed to do. Kind of like the was he like a former soldier buddy with uh, Samuel Jackson's character, and that's why he stayed in Vietnam. That, that's that's kind of what I felt. Yeah, like he so. was stationed there, and they kind of like were war buddies, but he stayed there. You know. I don't, I don't know if I caught the relationship. that. Yeah, I can't recall off the top of my head. Because they did but, have a relationship. They knew yeah. who each other yeah. was. Well, I mean, this brings up a good point because I guess we're going to move on the plot. Let's do there it. There were certain points of the movie where I was like, wait, am I not getting this? Like, what? Like, what? what is the reason for, for this happening? Like, I feel like I still don't know the reason why they uh, killed um, or they tried to kill Moody. I, I, I feel like I missed that part. Yeah, I... I I, it took me a while to pick up on it up until the very end when we get revealed certain information of what had happened. But even then, I still didn't really understand like what what actually was going on because it's a lot of like misdirection, if you will. Yeah. Um, usually, some films. I thought it was obvious. Well. well, you know, I'm not that smart, so I'm we're, looking. We're at stupid, Kuyapi. We're, stupid, Kuyapi. we're yeah. dummies. We're not that smart as you. <laughs> so <laughs> go go back to the mission in Vietnam. He right. Moody's mission was to take out this you know drug well uh, pharmaceutical guy but they were really you know up to bad stuff so his mission was to take care of him and was he was hired by the one partner or whatever but it turns out that uh it was in reverse like he killed the other guy and he's been like assuming this other role maybe uh, but actually you know what? i think i might be confused there so th there's a part that i'm confused there in that ah, regard see, there you but go. the reason he was hunted though was because of that killing and right. he was digging into the quote-unquote son of one of the doctor's characters that's why they came after him because they're trying to dig into this ages old you know assassination so that's how that's why he got taken out well supposedly taken out yeah yeah it, listen there's a lot of misdirection i was misdirected <laughs> i had a lot of fun though like every yeah. point of the way i it's like i knew who i knew who the the target was or like you know what i mean like the objective like i know who's against who so that wasn't a problem but i did have a, a like i was a little bit confused as like why like what like i'm a little bit confused here as to as to why you know they're they're trying so hard to kill him. like you know maggie anna's uh motivation is very very clear killed her mentor got to go after him you know what i mean a lot of yeah. a lot of their uh motivation is clear i just wasn't clear on what started the whole thing and how we you know how we got to the point um but it, it kind of became a little bit clear you know at the end with um moody actually you know uh you know the the big uh, reveal with him but i was just i was just i was like is it is it like really late am i getting why am i so confused right now <laughs> What'd you all, what'd you all think of Cause I know, uh, KP, you were touching upon it earlier about the, uh, the action. What'd you guys think of the overall action in the film? Uh, oh, from awesome. Yeah, awesome. Okay. Maggie Q, Robert Patrick. Uh, no, not Robert Patrick, but Rem Michael Keaton. Uh, you said you noticed, you know, Michael Keaton's double, I guess here and there. I, I oh, yeah. have to see that again. I didn't notice it too much. I thought it was well executed and I'm curious who, uh, Maggie Q's stunt doubles were and how much practical she did do, uh, mm -hmm. when the camera was pulled back and, you know, they had to, you know, give her some training to, to do some of that movement she because we saw her face, well. but, um, it was awesome. And I'm sure she has training because again, she had like the role of Nikita and did some other like action type roles, but I thought it was fun, man. And, and, and very, uh, smart, uh, in, in certain maneuvers that she did. Um, it, it was a la John Wick style in a way. Uh, yeah. where it was very believable fighting for me. Yeah. Well, it, for me, I, I, it's it kind of threw it was a throwback of like the old like you know '90s and '80s like action uh, films. Oh, it yeah. had a lot of vibe to that for me too. So there was a lot of over the topness where you know people are being thrown off buildings and landing and uh and yeah, positions that kind of crack them up. And you know, I was like, mm. but I enjoyed it though because I thought it was a lot of fun because there was you know the characters were fantastic. You know, we talked about that particular scene between Rembrandt and Anna when they're going at it with one another. That was actually one of the highlights for me in the movie where they were just going back and forth and then. You know, we get that line, but um, yeah, I, you, here's the thing though. I also felt like the, uh, you know, despite, you know, the, the, the characters being, uh, uh, being great. I don't know if you guys want to get into negatives, but I don't know if you guys had any, I, any uh, negative about how, you know, who the, the, the with the villain, I'm not, I, I think we're going to avoid spoilers here, but you know, with the villain, I think that was for me, that was the biggest negative that that stuck out for me. I don't know if you guys felt anything like that at all um, with, you know, with the, with the, the, the purpose of these uh, killings here. Again, I was like, who's the villain? Who's, yeah. the, 
Who's the? <laughs> That's my negative. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the guy that we're going after? I mean, they did. You know, there's like a bunch of misdirections in there, and it's like, you know, I know, you know, she's fighting this person, fighting this person, but I didn't know who. Like, okay, like, what is? Who's the? Who's the main guy? You know, usually you have like a like a, a guy like Hans Gruber. Like who's the Hans Gruber of this of this yeah. film? I don't know. This is kind of like a, it was a throwback. I don't know if you all remember uh, A Long Kiss Goodnight, which is one oh, of my yeah. favorite action movies. Oh, with yeah. Samuel Jackson. Gina, Samuel Davis. Jackson, Gina Davis. Yeah. yeah. So this is kind of like a throwback to that. Um, and that one, you do who the bad guy was. <laughs> this one. Yeah. And this one, there's like multiple bad guys and they kept switching out. So I think if that, if I had to nitpick, that was the um, the issue that I w- would have. And, you know, I like I like you said, Rob, I couldn't figure out who the bad guy was like, who, like, you know, who the bad yeah. guy was. I would part. echo that. I feel, you know, your guys's dilemma on that. But I I, I kind of again, like you we, like we said also earlier, this a throwback to 80s, 90s. So it is about misdirection. And that's a key element of it. But we had great moments in between the different people yeah. who we thought were the bad guy. So um, I didn't mind it as much as maybe yes. you guys did. I just enjoyed it straight through. Um, but I could see your point, though. I could see, mm-hmm. you know, where it all went out. And uh, but now nah, I, I had a lot of fun with it. And, and uh, each character kind of had their moment. But I can see where you guys are at. But overall, for me, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, let's, so let's wind this down. Let's let's give it a fi- some final verdicts then. Uh, let me toss it back to you, Glenn. Uh, I will. I will go ahead and uh, I'll do two things. The the um the part that was the weirdest for me was uh was um when the, when they're fighting and 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 deciding whether they're gonna fight or fuck <laughs> that was a very <laughs> confusing part. But my favorite part was uh, a young Anna figuring out uh you know what I mean how to put t- the gun together and and really uh her first kill or her first you know kills. Um, that that was like my favorite part of the movie. So um, for that reason and all the other things that I kind of liked in it, uh, I, I I give this a couple thumbs up. I'm a, I, I enjoyed it. I had a fun time. Um, like I said, I I was a little bit confused about who the bad guy was, but it didn't necessarily stop me from enjoying the movie, which is odd, which is odd. Um, so that, you know, it must have been good if like if you're wondering that, but you're still like, oh, this is cool. Um <laughs> Yeah, I like I like the biker angle. You know what I mean? Having biker yeah. friends made me think I need to get some biker friends. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I'm giving it a couple thumbs up, man. Rob, what do you think? I echo that as well, too. At, th- at this moment, I did not expect to. I-, I didn't know what to expect. I just didn't think I was going to get a lot of enjoyment like, uh, like I got from this movie. I thought it was more just going to be a generalized, just a standard fare. Uh, which in a lot of ways it kind of was, but there was a lot of uh, chemistry that 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 I picked up with the cast that they have. I uh, definitely um, helped out with uh, keeping engaged with the story. Um, as I said earlier, I think Maggie Q is a standout for me. Michael Keane for sure is, but you know something about her because I never really looked at Maggie Q as a leading lady. Not to say that I don't think she was capable. Mm-hmm. It just never occurred to me to look at her that way. This movie really had shown me that she's more than capable of pulling it off. Um, so I definitely give this movie a, a high recommendation. I think it's really worth watching, uh, especially if you're a hardcore action fan like myself. Check it out. It's really worth the time. I think you guys would get a fun, uh, a lot of enjoyment out of it. So those are my thoughts. All right. For me, yeah, I, I dug it as well and had the same kind of points that you guys all brought up. So uh, I'm with you all on that. But yeah, overall, fun time, man. And uh, just enjoyed all the different nuances of each character. And it was great to see older actors like Robert Patrick, Michael Keaton, Samuel Jackson still doing it, still rocking and rolling and fighting and doing all kinds of things. And I really enjoyed the chemistry that there was between Maggie Q's character and Michael Keaton's character. Um, it was unexpected for me. I didn't know Michael Keaton still had it like that. He had game, as to Glenn's point. I, I love that. And uh, some really cool moments. And uh, as an AAPI, uh, without having a lot of representation, to have this film now out there, uh, along with uh, Shang-Chi dropping soon, it's a good time to see some Asian superheroes going on, man, kicking ass. So <laughs> I'm really happy about it. Uh, so yeah, thumbs up for me all the way around um boom boom so there we go i'm switching to gallery view so you can see us all uh, we all enjoy the movie uh, highly recommend on my side of things and recommendations from everybody else so let us know in your thoughts what you think and also if you want to hit us up glenn how they can reach out to you uh glenn lawrence comedy glenn lawrence laughs on uh your twitter igs and uh level up comedy check me out there levelupcomedy.com uh and uh level up <laughs> just laughing at rob dying over there level up comedy <laughs> is where you can find me <laughs> <laughs> Rob, where can they find you before you die? <laughs> Sorry, I went down the wrong pipe. 
Uh, so you can follow me on my social media account on IG. You can get me on Rob underscore Medina 0585 on Twitter, Rob Medina 0585 on Facebook, Rob Medina. And follow my show social media account. Uh, You're so cool with Rob Medina on Instagram and on Twitter. You're so cool at WRM. There you go. Make sure you follow You're So Cool and Mr. Blur Dad uh, yeah. with Level Up Comedy. Your boy, Kuya P. You can follow me at Strange Since 1977 or at Temple Far East or the legend Kuya P on TikTok. The others were Twitter and IG. And of course, over at the Nerds of Color, where we give you pop culture from a PLC perspective, as well as Show Pow Show, where I give you that Philippine X representation. And of course, you can always find me here with my boy Rob and Glenn at the NRW and at New Release Wednesday. We're nerds. Rule the world. That is our review of the protege. Let us know what you think in the comments below. We can't wait to see what you think as well. Until next time, we out of here. Cheers. Boom.